this is the Renewable Researcher Group, and my name is Dania, and my teammate is Roberto, Isaiah, and Ryan. So our project is uh, the solar tracking uh, panel. So our uh, project is to design the uh, solar uh, tracking panel that uh, track the uh, sun movement throughout the day. And one of the most important uh, goal for our project is to uh, improve the energy efficiency. And we also compare our design uh, the, with a fixed solar panel. And also, um, <clears throat> uh, we did uh, the testing uh, throughout the day uh, you know, at a different point of the day. And also, our project is uh, considered to be one of the green solution. Uh, and uh, of non-polluting uh, energy source. And also um, um, uh, the project is uh, to, uh, uh, to increase the uh, renewable uh, energy. Uh, if we co as, as I mentioned, when we compare it with a, sol with a fixed solar panel and, um, or we can say uh, the standard solar panel. So basically, our project works by comparing the light levels between four different photoresistors on the top of the panel. It compares the top two, bottom two, between the left two and the right two, or it compares the top, top two and the bottom two, and compares the left two and the right two. Um, our microcontroller then takes that compared info and moves the servo motors based on trying to balance out those two differing light levels. Um, it does so by just calc or just taking the average of those two photoresistors and uh, just comparing them and w takes the comparison value and tries to take it to a zero value. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, so for the mount, we wanted something that would hold the two uh, server motors. Um, since they're kind of heavy, um, we would want to optimize the mount as much as possible. So we had a vertical axis, which rotates to 0 to 180 degrees. And then, unfortunately, this server motor isn't working right now, but it was doing a 360, which um, throughout the day optimized like how much energy um, the solar panel could get, uh, maximized the amount of energy the solar panel could get. And then we also have an LCD screen which um, tells us the voltage and current of the solar panel throughout the day. All right, so um, we did two separate tests for our solar panel. So um, the goal for this panel was to be in like a mobile environment. So in something that would move around a lot where a fixed position solar panel would not have an optimal angle at the sun, which is perpendicular to the solar rays. So we first tested it at midday when we expected our panel to not get much energy gains over the fixed position one, since the sun is at an optimal angle straight up, which our fixed position solar panel was just laying flat accounted for. So actually when we ran that test, I'll switch to a slide so we can see the graph bigger. Um, our solar panel, our tracking solar panel is the orange line and the fixed position solar panel is the blue line. We averaged about 9.6 milliwatts compared to 8.6 milliwatts um, between the fixed position and the standard in our tracking solar panel. And the re in our energy is so low because we just use the small solar panel for this test um, to stay within our budget. However, this could be scaled to any size depending on the servo motors or the batteries that you wanted to use. Um, so that's about 11% energy gains. And that was much better than we expected because we thought it was going to be closer to zero since we expected both of them to just be facing straight up and to not really be much better. However, our panel did pick up on the little s angles and tilted just slightly to pick up on even that little bit of energy gains. And then the second test we did was in the late afternoon, which is when the sun's way over to the side in the sky, where when we walked around, so we walked around in the quad. And um, doing so, we made the solar panel come in and out of the correct angle that it would want to be with the sun. And our tracking panel would correctly move to face the sun at an optimal angle. And so in this test, we got 9.6 milliwatts on average again with our solar panel, whereas the fixed position solar panel had 6.8 milliwatts on average, which is a 41% increase, which is much greater than what we expected. And so with these gains, we uh, proved that our um, theory that 
the sun could be tracked using these photoresistors was actually a valid theory. And um, with a little bit of optimization and at a larger scale, could be used um, in a mobile environment to increase your energy efficiency throughout the day um, compared to if you just slapped on a solar panel to the top of a boat or something like that. Um, and the main engineering challenges that we faced were actually more mechanical than anything. Um, building this mount and getting our servo motors to stay, obviously our bottom one's broken right now, um, getting all of the mechanics to work in an optimal way so that we didn't apply pressure to the servos or make them do more work than they had to do was the main challenge that we faced along with this project. Um, and obviously, we hope to give you a better visualization of using a flashlight to move the panel around. However, when <laughs> our servo motors broke the, literally this morning, um, there wasn't much that we could do about that. So we just have one oscillating side to side to show you how it would work. Um, and then the other one would rotate it 360 degrees, so that way it could pick up for the other axis movement. Um, and so in our test, if we go back, um, so right now our servo motors actually use just a little bit more power than we um, saved from our movement. But that's because our servo motors are, way are built for way bigger panels and heavier objects than the panel that we actually got. Um, so they can move panel probably five to 10 times the size of this, which obviously 40% would cover up for the 40 milliwatts that our servo motor uses versus the tiny panel that we use, simply because getting a panel of that size would be 80 to $90, and that would put us way outside of our budget for this project, just for a proof of concept. Um, any questions? We swapped them once or twice, um, just to make sure that one of them wasn't like inherently right. less than the other one. And you found that it wasn't? It wasn't. No, it was not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, just to clarify. <laughs> yeah, so we did find that. Yeah, so it wasn't just um, the differences in the panel. Anybody else have any questions? No. So for solar panels, so it take like 30 years or 40 years to cover the cost of making the solar panel. So if you have a mechanical device that can like move the solar panel, will that decrease the reliability? OK. Um, yes, yeah, so inherently it can. However, the goal of this project isn't to be a solar panel that you throw on the top of your roof. And just, it's not meant to power your home. It's meant to be in a mobile application where you can't just plug into a wall socket to get power. So it'd be like on a boat or a car, you know, something of that sort where you wouldn't have the option of doing anything else. So it would make it more efficient than, you're already, than the one you already have. And yeah, sure, you could decrease, it could decrease reliability long term. But if we were going to take it in terms of like a product or something, we'd have to devise a way to make it easy to apply maintenance to. All right, anyone else? All right.